nothing tells me that a man is a loser more than a man who spends the block. I'm sorry. Like, I don't have any respect for any man who has ever attempted to try to spend the block on me. Reason being is, why are you back here again? Right? I know why you back here again. I know it's to see whether or not you could get another chance, which you never will talk to me ever again. But the fact that you would even attempt it lets me know that whatever it was that you were seeking, you couldn't get. Therefore, you're back here again. Somewhere you shouldn't be. That gives me loser. Right? I don't, I don't like losers. And so for that reason alone, I'd never re-entertain you because you're a loser. You went back out into the world to try to do better and could not do better, and now you're back circling again. That's loser activity. A man with real options would never. A man who truly could get girls would never be back somewhere that he left. Right? But a loser would. And since I don't like losers, you should never come back again. Right? If it didn't work out the first time, why would you come back a second time? You should be entertaining all of those options that you should have had. And if you didn't have all of those options, that means you should have acted like you didn't have all of those options, right? You shouldn't have played games and risked me having to cut you off that first go round. But since you did and had to get sent back out into the world, enjoy. There's so many reasons why a dude might spin the block. And to be honest with you, a lot of those reasons might not be negative. And sometimes as men, we find ourselves in situations, relationships that we're not ready for. And because we really like the girl, we might let her go simply because we don't want to play with her. Sometimes you might not even realize the type of effect you might have on a dude to where he really want to make himself better for you. Respect the people who respect you enough to not play with you. The hate's sad on me, baby. It don't, don't get no play out of that, baby. I'm the only the goddamn blonde wig out here born and raised here. That way. He too swole for that shit there. He too swole for that. He too swole. The algorithm is crazy, son. The algorithm is crazy. The thing about Atlanta is that you don't be knowing if people really be like that, son. Because he might be straight as hell and just do this shit for attention. The way he moving, folks, I don't even think he, he walking across the street. I don't think he crossing the street, bro. I literally think he doing this for attention. Catherine. I caught you once again cheating on me. All I want is my clothes, and I will leave. May I please have my clothing items so I can get the hell out of the house? I asked you to leave anyway. I am leaving. Can I please have my clothes? You can come back later. No, I'm not coming back. Well, then you can come My back. clothes are right there. All I need is the things in the dryer. That's it, and I'm out of here. Can you please move out of the way so I can get my clothes, and I will leave? You can call the cops. So that you can be with Michael. You can call the cops. Michael? I don't want to call the cops. I just want my clothes, and I will leave. Okay. May I please have my clothes? No. Get a man of clothes. Why? Why can't you just go be with him? Why do you have to string me along and pretend like you don't like the guy after the that I just read? What did you read, my boy? Just let me go, Kate. Be with him. He's right there. I'm over it, man. I'm done being punked. Mm. Just let... You can keep everything. Let me have my clothes so I can leave. And that's it. I you won't can bother you. Put your recording down. No, I'm not. Because this is... I have to. Then you can go to Because everything that you say is a lie. Then you can Just like how you and Michael are done. He's uncircumcised. You can call the cops. Wait, wait, okay. wait a minute. <laughs> Catherine... I caught you once again cheating on me. Ladies, can I ask you this question? Why do you guys do this? Whenever you get caught up in some nonsense, instead of just saying, you know what, I got caught, you got it, y'all turn into psychos. Like, you got caught. I didn't get caught. You got caught. Yo, when men get caught, you know what they do? They either cry and boo-hoo and I'll never do it again. 
Or they'd be like, you know what? Yo, you got me. <laughs> I can't even lie. You got me. You want me to leave? All right, fine. I'm going. I'll, I'll stay with my boy until I get back on my feet. Like, this is literally things men do. Not, well, hold on. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me step back. Some women, not all, because I'm not finna generalize y'all, okay? Some women. I got caught. I'm going to destroy your house because I got caught. I got caught. I'm going to destroy your car because I got caught. Y'all are that selfish and that used to having things y'all way that when it don't go according to plan, y'all turn into the Green Reaper. All those people down there, they follow the rules for what? Well, I know he not about to jump. What happens if they don't? I know he not about to jump out of there without no parachute. Life's simple. He's not about to jump off without a parachute. Don't look back. Thank you. And yet again, we're here with another episode of White Folks Are Fearless. I keep telling y'all, and I'm going to keep telling y'all, white folks are fearless. Why in the world are you, are you jumping out of a hot air balloon, 20,000 feet in the air? Yeah, I know something else is never talked about. It's how the men of the friend of your spouse is the one who tries to holler at you when that man dies. When my late husband died, um, one of the pallbearers that I handpicked myself because my husband kept saying how close him and this person was, one of them tried to talk to me. One of the homeboys out of the military tried to talk to me. It was the craziest thing ever. Like, I didn't even know stuff like that was real. Like, my mom used to tell me stories and stuff like that, but I didn't even know something like that could happen to me. So, this is why I'd be daring people to play with me. I still got the receipts. <clears throat> he texted me one day just to check. It was the same message as he always said. Hello, just checking in on you in London. I'm like, yeah, we good. I'm just leaving therapy. I'm feeling better, kind of getting back to myself. This is my own commercial inside of the video. It's like a Kanye West commercial. So, basically... I uh, know a lot of y'all have been asking about the hoodies, and I have finally created my Shopify store. So you can buy this hoodie and a few of the other hoodies that you've seen me wear in previous videos. You just click the link in the description and purchase the hoodie. So far, I believe I had about five or six sales. So thank you to the six people who purchased their hoodies. Um, I appreciate your support. And again, I'm not finna run that shit down your... Th pause. I'm not... Pause. Pause. Um, yeah. <laughs> I was finna say something wild just now. Now he's like, "Well, I'm glad to hear that." I'm like, "All right, cool. Are you good? Yeah, I'm good too. All right. Well, you know, I always just check on y'all because I know y'all lost a friend too. Yeah, I know. Whatever, whatever. Well, I'm finna get back to work. That's normally how the text messages go. After I send that, he texts back, and he's like, "I'm not rushing you or nothing like that. <clears throat> but when you start to heal up and you start looking to date, I was hoping that you would give me a chance." I th this was the kicker. He told me, I feel like your husband would want you to be with somebody who he knew, who he knew would take care of you and his little girl. Y'all know something else is never talked about? It's how the men of the friend of... How y'all feeling about that? How y'all feeling about that? I personally feel as though under no circumstances, whether your your homeboy is alive or he's dead, should you be talking to his woman. Now, some of y'all might disagree. Some of y'all might say, oh, well, uh, you know, at least he knows that his friend is going to take care of his wife and his daughter and this, that, and the third. But the way I look at it is that when I was alive, you was plotting on my wife. That's how I look at that. That's just me out of respect. I have friends right now who had girlfriends when we was in high school and I still can't look at their girlfriends like that. Now we all have different rules that we operate by but that's one of my rules bro. I'm not touching your girl. I'm not touching your ex. If I was, a, especially if I was around y'all during y'all time together, I can't do that. It's not in me to do that. What's yours is always going to be yours. Even if she get in a relationship with somebody else, I'm going to respect their relationship, but at the same time, I'm going to always see you. Now, I'm saying if you pass away, you my mans and you pass away, I'm going to always see you when I see her. Now, to me, that's how it should be, with no parachute. Would you like to have a threesome with the two of us? I'm married. <laughs> but she's down. No, okay. <laughs> Who is she? The one you originally were going to Bring it over here. Bring it over here. <laughs> Would you have a threesome with the two of us? Yes. <laughs> Let's go. 
ladies. We're going to take this off. Come on. Let's see you guys later. Is it really that easy? It's not that easy for everybody. But in case y'all don't know who this guy is, his name is Tristan. Tristan is a real life hitch. So his whole thing is helping men get at beautiful women. I think he lives in Mexico and he just walks around and picks up women all fucking day. The one thing I can say about his content though, the one thing I can say, right, is that everybody is not going to be able to do what Tristan does. I want you to understand this. Everybody don't look like Tristan. Tristan is like 6'4", 6'5". He's cut and no homo. He's an attractive guy. How easy it is for him is not going to be as easy for you. Bro, I will, bro. That should be making me wet, bro. I, you, you don't understand how You said that should be making you what? That should be making me wet, bro. Oh, my God. I love it. Hey, yo. Hold on, bro. What? Bro, I will, bro. That should be making me wet, bro. I, you, you don't understand how You said that should be making you what? That should be making me wet, bro. Oh, my God. I love it. Hey, yo. Bro, that grown ass man just said that that be making him wet. You know what? Let's do something different right quick. Let's go test that theory out, bro. Man said that be making him wet, y'all. That shit be making him wet. Hey, there go my two babies, y'all. They go my two babies. We're going to test this out right quick. Woo! Lord! Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Okay. Okay. You feel me? Okay. He could have used different words. It ain't wet. But my... My thing... Oh, Lord! Uh, he used the wrong words, but I can understand how those cars can get you excited. The thing about owning them cars, though, bro, is very dangerous because how he's a fanboy, it's a lot of other mothers, especially young, stupid ass kids who are fanboys as well and would try to rob you and kill you for those cars. So, owning those cars are fun, but it's also dangerous.